Tesla's vision is to make electric vehicles and energy products more accessible, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. To ramp production to 500,000 cars per year, Tesla will require today's entire global supply of lithium ion batteries. The Tesla Gigafactory was built out of necessity to supply enough batteries to meet Tesla's expected vehicle demand. The Gigafactory now manufactures Model 3 electric motors, battery packs, Tesla's energy storage products, Powerwall and Powerpack. Welcome to Tesla Today, where we talk about the latest news and exciting things Tesla is doing to make the world a better place. If you are new here, please subscribe, like, and share our videos. It shows your appreciation for the work we put in these videos. Today, we are talking about Tesla's Gigafactory in full in detail. Considering that Tesla's stock is currently rising and its current market capitalization is approaching $800 billion, it's safe to say that the American electric vehicle manufacturer is doing well. As of right now, Tesla has four electric vehicles in production at its various factories worldwide. In addition to battery and solar technologies, these gigafactories are also responsible for producing the brand's solar and battery technologies. Tesla continues to grow, with a semi-truck, Cybertruck, and second-generation Roadster already confirmed, as well as goals to produce a $25,000 model. Tesla factory locations. Where they are and where they might be soon. Tesla currently has four fully operational facilities. Three of them are in the United States, while one is in China. Let us begin with the original factory and work our way forward chronologically from there. The Fremont Factory Tesla's Fremont Factory, located just outside of San Francisco, is the original location for the company's EV production. It currently has 5.3 million square feet of space on 370 acres of land and is home to over 10,000 Tesla employees. Prior to Tesla, the facility housed General Motors from 1962 to 1982, and then GM and Toyota's new United Motor Manufacturing, Inc., NUMI, from 1984 to 2009. Tesla bought the plant in 2010 and refurbished it considerably before the first Model S rolled off the production line in June 2012, according to Tesla's website. Even though Tesla has expanded its plant locations around the world, the factory remains the flagship. Tesla continues to manufacture the Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y, as well as the majority of their components, at this cutting-edge facility. While Tesla receives parts from suppliers all around the world, several of them have constructed local operations in order to be closer to Tesla production. Tesla already has a global manufacturing presence, which it is expanding, but these gigafactories have so far been built with more niche production goals in mind. The term, billions, is derived from the unit of measurement. Wonder whether Tesla had this term in mind when it first went public. Let's take a look at Tesla's current Gigafactories and where they're located. Gigafactory 1, Giga Nevada. Gigafactory 1 is Tesla's first manufacturing facility, located in Sparks, Nevada, just outside of Reno. This Gigafactory is responsible for producing electric motors and lithium ion battery packs for the Model 3 sedan. It also produces Tesla's energy storage products, the Powerwall and Powerpack, which it acquired from the Fremont factory in 2015. The Gigafactory in Sparks, Nevada, was inaugurated in June 2014. Named after the unit of measurement, Giga, which is equivalent to billions. To allow Tesla to begin production immediately, the Gigafactory is being built in stages. More than 1.9 million square feet are already covered by the current structure with 5.3 million square feet of operational space spread across several floors. It's worth noting, however, that the Gigafactory is only about 30% finished. Tesla expects the Gigafactory to be the world's largest building when it's completed, and it'll be powered entirely by renewable energy. The facility is designed to be a net-zero energy factory upon completion, and solar installation has already begun. In mid-2018, Gigafactory 1's battery production had reached an annualized rate of almost 20 gigawatt hours, making it the world's highest volume battery plant. In terms of kilowatt hour, Tesla currently produces more batteries than all other automakers combined. Due to economies of scale, innovative manufacturing, waste reduction, 
and the simple optimization of placing most manufacturing operations under one roof, Tesla's battery cell costs will drop drastically as the Gigafactory ramps up production. Tesla can make their products available to a more significant number of people by lowering the cost of batteries, allowing us to have the most significant possible influence on the world's transition to sustainable energy. There have also been recent rumors that the automaker is planning to relocate its Tesla semi-manufacturing to Giga Nevada. This would almost certainly be in addition to semi-truck production at Tesla's upcoming Austin, Texas factory. What's amusing about the 1.9 million square featuring Giga Nevada is that it's apparently only 30% finished. What's more, as Tesla expands to other gigafactories around the world, this incomplete original Giga has yet to expand at all. Gigafactory 2, New York Giga. Giga New York in Buffalo, unlike the other factories on this list, is focused on solar energy rather than EVs. The construction of this Gigafactory began in 2014, and it was secured by Tesla through its acquisition of SolarCity in 2016. According to Tesla's website, Tesla began producing solar cells and modules at Gigafactory 2, a 1.2 million square foot facility in Buffalo, New York in 2017. Tesla added new manufacturing lines in 2019 to support electrical components for supercharger and energy storage products. Gigafactory 3, Giga Shanghai. Giga Shanghai is the latest operational Gigafactory and the second factory to assemble actual Tesla vehicles. This 9.3 million square foot Gigafactory currently houses the final assembly of Tesla's Model 3 as well as Model Y production. Giga Shanghai, which began construction in 2018, was already starting initial production on Tesla's cheapest sedan, the Model 3 sedan, in the fall of 2019. The size of this Gigafactory has more than doubled since then to support the production of Tesla's newest vehicle, the Model Y. Tesla appears to be increasing its presence in China. This includes hiring Chinese designers and establishing a design studio in China to produce Tesla vehicles specifically for the Chinese market. This could include the $25,000 Tesla mentioned earlier. Upcoming Tesla Manufacturing Facilities The following two gigafactories have not yet been officially opened, but they will be soon. As you read this, Tesla has already broken ground on its Giga Berlin and Giga Texas locations. For each of Tesla's newest Gigas, here's what to expect. Gigafactory 4, Giga Berlin. Construction began last summer in Grunheide, a suburb of Berlin after CEO Elon Musk announced in 2019. According to the Tesla website, German electric vehicle manufacturer Gigafactory in Berlin-Brandenburg will be the world's most technologically advanced high-volume electric vehicle production facility. The Model Y will be the first vehicle to be designed and engineered in Germany for global markets. While Giga Berlin's initial production will be focused on the Model Y, the massive construction is being built with the goal of taking on future Tesla vehicle production in the city. From this Tesla factory, the automaker hopes to produce 500,000 vehicles per year in the future. A lot of progress has been made on Tesla's first brick and mortar production facility in Europe. Gigafactory 5. Giga Texas. This is Tesla's most recent confirmed production facility, and it's called Gigafactory 5. The Tesla factory in Giga Texas, as it's called, was not even confirmed until July 2020. As a matter of fact, it is currently being built in Austin, Texas. Elon Musk has said that Giga Texas will become an ecological paradise once it is completed. There are 2,500 acres of land being developed and Tesla chose Austin because it was looking for a location more than halfway between the East Coast and the West Coast. In Gigafactory 5, both the Model 3 and Model Y will be produced for easier distribution to the eastern United States. Giga Texas is also slated to be the main production facility for both the Tesla Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi, both of which are highly anticipated. Recently, some of the larger buildings on the Giga Texas facility have begun to rise, and Tesla has already begun advertising employment openings. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified when new videos are posted. I'll see you at the next one.